Hello all. So if you have a vehicle and you think you have an intake air leak or a vacuum leak, then I thought I'd show you a quick, easy method on how you could go about trying to locate it using just basic starter fluid. This is kind of an old school method. And basically all the air going into the engine should be going in through the throttle body. The air should be coming in. It should be going through the air intake box, going up through a hose. And how much air is going into the engine should be controlled by the throttle body right here. But if air is getting into the engine around this somehow, then that's going to cause a leak. That's going to cause an intake leak. And this is usually like a bad hose or a bad gasket or something along these lines. But basically air is getting in around the throttle body. And so we need to find out where that leaks at. So there's some different ways to go about doing this. You can come around and look and just see if you see any hoses off or anything like that. There's also what they call a smoke machine method where you feed smoke into the intake and then wherever the smoke comes out, you know where the leak's at. And then there's this method where you use starter fluid. I mean, basically when you use this method, you start up the engine and then you go around, you look and wherever you think the leak might be, you spray the spray. And if the engine idle changes, usually up, but if it changes, then you know you found the leak you know that's a spot where you need to look closer at to go and fix. Because if that spot is leaking, then the starter fluid is going to get sucked in and it's going to cause the engine idle to change. And so that's basically it. For this example, I'm going to go ahead and just make a vacuum leak to show how this works. And so like right here, like where the brake booster comes in or something like that, I'm going to go ahead and pop this off, which is going to create a vacuum leak. And so I'm going to go ahead and start the engine, leave this hose off, and then when I come back, I'm going to spray around right here. And the engine idle will change when I do that. And so I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. You can actually hear, and if you listen closely, hopefully you can hear that. I'm going to go and spray in there with the starter fluid. Hopefully you can hear that. It's idling up when I spray in there. Let me spray again. I'm not sure if you can hear that, but it is idling up slightly when I spray it's out of there. But that's basically it. With the engine running, you go around and you try to spray wherever you think the spot might be. Try not to spray on anything electrical or anything like that. This is flammable liquid, so you need to be careful if you're doing this. If you do do it this way, do it at your own risk. But basically, you go around all these hoses around the engine, around the top right here. You go around, you look, and wherever you think that there might be a leak at, you spray the spray, and if the engine idle changes, then you know you found the leak. You know you need to look a little closer at it. And so that's basically it. If you have any questions, ask me down below, and I'll try to answer them. If you have anything to add, please comment down below also. But that's basically it. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.